Friends did you know that not only can you password protect your hidden and recently deleted photos, but you can also password protect your entire photo library? This means that even if someone knows your login password, they won't be able to access your photos without the library password. This is a great way to keep your photos safe and secure without using any third-party software. Hello friends and welcome back to MZ Learning. Friends today I will show you how to password protect your individual photos or entire photo library on a Mac. This secret tip works on both Apple Silicon and Intel Macs. Let us start with how to protect individual photos with Touch ID or a password. And after that, I will show you how to lock your entire photo library. The process of locking your photos with Touch ID or a password is very simple. First, select the photos you want to password protect. Then, right-click on them and choose Hide Photos. Your selected pictures will immediately shift from your photos library to another folder called Hidden. By default, you will not see your hidden folder in your photos sidebar. To add it, go to the View menu and choose Show Hidden Photo Album. Now you will see your hidden photo album appear in the photos sidebar, but it is not password protected yet. To password protect, go to the photos menu and select settings. In the settings window, under the general tab, you will see an option for privacy. Check the box next to use touch ID or password to enable the feature. That's it. Your hidden and recently deleted folder is now password protected. To access your password protected photos, simply click on the hidden folder. You will be prompted to authenticate either through Touch ID or a password. Once authenticated, you will have access to your pictures. This is a great way to secure your photos, but unfortunately, this feature is only available on macOS Ventura or later. So if you are using an older operating system, you won't be able to use this feature. Don't worry, in that case, you can use our second method, which works on all Mac operating systems. In the second method, we will learn how to password protect our entire photo library. For that, first close your photo app, if it's open. Next, open your finder window and navigate to the pictures folder. Here, you will see your photos library. Right click on it and select get info. Take note of the size of your photo library. In my case, it's 372 megabytes. Now, close this window and open your disk utility app. In Disk Utility, press Command plus N to create a new blank image. And here is the tricky part. My photo album is 372 megabytes in size. However, if I create a disk image of the exact size, the Photos app will give me an error. This is because the photo library requires some extra space to open. Therefore, I need to allocate some extra space. In my case, an additional 100 megabytes is sufficient. However, it is important to note that, if I plan to add more photos in the future, this allocated space may not be enough. So in that case, you need a bigger space, but how much? Well, it depends on your need. In case you're unsure of how much space you need, you can select an approximate size that fits your needs. Maybe it's 10 or 15 gigabytes. It's totally up to you. Personally, I think 1 gigabyte is more than enough for me. If later I found that this space is insufficient, I will simply create another image with a larger size and transfer my photo album from this image to the larger one. Anyway, from the encryption drop-down menu, select either 128 or 256-bit encryption, based on your requirements. Here, set a strong password for your image, verify it, and then click the Choose button. Ensure that the Read and Write option is selected in the image format. Otherwise, you won't be able to add new photos to your Photos app. Although it's optional, but it's a good idea to name this image for better identification. After that, you can save this image anywhere on your Mac, even on an external drive. I suggest choosing the Pictures folder and then clicking the Save button. Finally, click the Done button and close the Disk Utility app. Now open your picture and the recently created image side by side. Then, copy the photos library to the newly created image. Once done, back up this photo library to your external drive and delete it from your Mac. After that, go to your application folder and locate and select your photo app. Press Command plus I to bring up the info window. In the info window, copy the photo app icon and close the window. 
Next, navigate to your image and replace your photo library icon with the photos app icon. Perfect. Now, drag the photo library into your dock for easy access. Once done, eject the image and close the finder window. That's all. Now next time you want to open the Photos app, simply click on it from your dock. Enter your password, and boom, you will access your photos. Because we copied our entire photo library, so nothing has changed, everything is exactly where it was before. Now, you can use your Photos app just like before. You can add pictures, you can delete pictures, create new albums, and so on. So friends, this is how you can password protect your entire photo app. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.